let's get back to the basics. What is, you know, why are we trying to fuse matter? Well, you know, there's many reasons why we'd want to fuse nuclei. One of them is energy production, right? So in, uh, in, in uh, three to four decades of building tokamaks, which are these large accelerators trying to fuse um, uh, uh, protons, um, or, or nucleons, um, the, and, you know, which they keep building larger and larger thinking if they put more power in it, we'll get there. They haven't yeah. been able to produce one watt of, you know, of power, usable power, right? And we're talking yeah. billions of dollars have been invested. Sure. And so clearly there's a problem with the theory and and clearly there's a problem with the geometry so mm -hmm. um and what i mean there is specifically the geometry of the accelerator um so uh so by studying well, so my work the geometry of the accelerator could be adjusted you have to think about it in in like maybe like revamp the whole thing and then you think about it you go Wait a minute. E equals mc square. There is enough energy in a centimeter cube of space, right, to power the world for thousands of years. Right. right. So, yeah. so maybe the device doesn't need to be the size of like a ten-story building, right? <laughs> right. Maybe sure. because all <laughs> I need is a little fusion to happen in a very small area. Right? Uh -huh. If right, I get right, it right. just right, and then I've got enough power to like more power than I could ever want, right? So, so already, like, it's a completely different approach. You, you, you know, you, you go, okay, wait, a bench top device should be able right, to right, right. Top if you yeah, get yeah. the right geometry, right? That's and so that would be the first thing that would be informative. But then, you know, then you might start to think, okay, but what am I extracting when I'm fusing nucleons, right? Like, what am I, what is a nucleon? So where my, my, my theory informs this is that clearly from the holographic mass solution, which is still the most precise prediction of the radius of the proton, right? The, clearly, the solution says that the, a, a nucleon, a proton, is a collective of Planck oscillators, a lot of them, billion, trillions right. of them, right? In a collective mm -hmm. behavior, in a, in a coherent behavior in the structure of space, like in the region of space. So that space-time right. is a Planck field, is an ether, mm -hmm. and when that ether organized in very specific region, it produces what we call particles. Mm -hmm. Right. So, mm -hmm. and I, and I'm using the term ether here loosely, but I want to say, although it's voodoo in physics to to <laughs> use this term ether since Einstein, you know, um, you know, people that well. Uh, you know, class physicists with Nobel Prize are starting to talk about we should have never, you know, let go of the ether theory, right? <laughs> Including like, you know, Frank Wilczek that did a, I mean, look it up. It's a really good talk. It's called uh, the the materiality of the vacuum. It's excellent. Um, okay. and it's probably one of the most important talk in physics in the last hundred years. I, I you know, I, um, I uh, I was I was blown away when I heard that talk, and I would say that it's it's one of the most fundamental talk in physics I've ever heard, and I've been doing physics for some thirty years. Um, and and but never mind that. Um, what I'm saying is that then you'd realize, like, wait a minute. That means that I don't necessarily need to fuse the nuclei. If I can couple to the vacuum, if I can couple to the structure of space-time, if I can couple to the ether with the right geometry, then with very little power, I should be able to extract massive amount of power. 
right? So, so no need for like huge uh, energy event, no need for huge thermodynamics effect, no need for huge like containment issues, right? Mm -hmm. Like the, the containment bubble can be much less stringent instead of like going at it with like the brute force, I'm just going to tickle the vacuum just right so right. that I can extract energy from it.